Hundreds of women and youth from various Rukuba community dressed in black took to the streets to protest, accusing the army of confiscating, encroaching and denying them the right to own personal property on their own land. This latest action by the community to embark on a peaceful protest is coming on the heels of a letter written to the community leader of Rukuba by the 3rd Division of the Nigerian Army giving the community three months notice to vacate what the army targeted army land situated and lying within the cantonment in Dusenkura. But the leaders of the community affected disagrees, instead saying that not all of the 7.76 square miles of land acquired by the Nigerian army for the Rukuba cantonment were fully paid for. This barrack was acquired in 1972 to 1973 and up till this time around they have not even compensated us where they have acquired and then they came and encroached in our lands and then we were about to talk to them, telling them they are encroaching. They went ahead with a fictitious map and they are using that map. We told them it is not the authentic map you people are using. They still insisted. The protesters also accused the military of molesting their community members and blocking parts which had been in existence before the barrack was sighted. Please, we want to announce to the whole world that this is our land. We have seen people coming to deep trenches in our land where we farm and eat. It is not possible. How many um, minutes have you been here? These people are supposed to come out and address us because of the issue of our land demarcation. They are not here to even give us an ad address. Efforts of the protesters to gain access to the military barracks was resisted. You do not have any right to go back to the military. After a long wait, a brigadier general later addressed the crowd, allowing representatives of the protesters to speak with the general officer commanding. Get your representatives, they will go and speak with the boss. Those who are 70 years of people can be injured, some lives will be lost. From Joss, Samson, Omale, STV News.